Hey guys, Zombie Girl here again with another review. I'm going to try and be brief with this review because I, I have cartoons to watch at 3. My favorite cartoons are coming on at 3 to like 4 or 5. So I kind of want to hurry up and watch it because it's already like 2.17. But whatever, that's me being a nerd. But I wanted to share with you guys my favorite art book that I've been having maybe I think a little over a year and a half. Um, if you guys are into horror art, this is one of my favorite horror art uh, art books. Um, this art book really helps me with my personal work that I that I have been um, doing lately. And then I've been so busy with my t-shirt line and um, some pieces that I've been working on, my personal pieces, and I've been trying to like put together my personal website and my t-shirt website to show off my work. And I just made a fan page on. Um, on Facebook to show most of my art but if you guys want to see some of my work you guys can go on my Facebook um, the link is on my channel I think it's in this corner or that corner or somewhere over there but if you guys can go on my channel the link is right there where it says websites the link is right there so you click on that and you um, hit something I forgot what you hit because I just made it but um, just become a fan um, if you click on one of, I don't, I forgot, I think if you click on one of my friends and you see that they're fans, and I don't know how to do it, but I forgot, sorry. But if you could go on my Facebook and find my fan page, um, it should be there if you want to look at some of my work. I just posted them last night, it was so tedious, I have to take pictures of everything just to like post it on my fan page. But again, if you guys want to look at some of my work, go on my fan page. I will be reviewing a couple of my work. In case you guys would like to know more or less where my head was when I did those pieces, but again, like I'll I'll do some. I'm kind of nervous about showing my work, but um, I guess you know I hope you guys are nice, <laughs> you know. But um, again, I'll be reviewing some of my pieces and some of my illustrations. But okay, let's get into the uh, what I want to show you guys right now. So this is the my favorite art book. It's called Cryptic Art. Um, the artist, he's a really great artist. He reminds me of the guy that does, um, Lenore comic books. They have the same type of style, more or less, but Lenore, the Lenore comic book is less detailed, and I think this is more detailed. That's the only difference between their styles. But other than that, like, I love their work. Um, I'll show you guys a couple of my, um, favorite pages in this book, if I can briefly find them. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, this page right here. It, I'm sorry about the glare. It has, like, stuff like this. This type of art really helps me with my own personal work. Um, just because it's so demented looking, it's, like, kind of fun, but it's kind of sick, like, Halloween-ish type theme. This is another couple of pages that I like. If you guys can see it, I'm sorry if you can't. But this page and this page. This guy does really great work. Um, I'm so happy that I found that he's made art books for me to look at. I used to go on Google Images and try and find some of his work online. But it really didn't give me variations of different types of style he does and stuff. So I'm kind of glad that I found finally found his art book. He has more. I'm trying to look for some more of his artwork. But again, page by page is completely like, I'm satisfied with every single page there is in this book. This is a really nice art book. But you guys should try, find, I found it in my local comic book store. I think it cost me like 30 bucks. It was worth my 30 bucks. I'm kind of glad that I got it. Um, this is the back. It kind of like really, it makes me feel like if, the artists that I like, I can probably come out with my own personal art book someday. It costs money to do it. Maybe that's more or less why I haven't done it yet. But, you know, this is this this art book is very inspirational to artists everywhere that's into art like this. But if you're trying to trying to learn how to draw or be an artist or try and put your work out there, just reference off art books. Go to like, you know, your local comic book store or you know, just bookstores in general and try and find some great art books to reference off of. Because every artist needs inspiration. 
and that's what art books are to me. They're they're just inspiration pieces for me. Like, I mean, I get inspired by everything I look at, so I don't take art for granted. Even the kind of art that I, well, I don't really understand, I still like, but or the type of art that's really not, you know, something that I would like, but still like. I don't take it for granted. I still think it's good work. But, um, so that's that's all I have to show for you guys right now. But again, it's called Cryptic Art. If you guys can find it on eBay or Amazon, that would be great. It's not that expensive. It's, it's expensive, but if you don't care, it's not that expensive. But, uh, yeah, I have to go watch my cartoons. But, um, that's all I have to show for you guys. If you guys have any questions about this art book, uh, comment me. Um, if you want to rate this video, if you like, if you want to subscribe if you like go ahead again if you have any questions comment but that's all I have to show for you guys this week again next week I'll um, be reviewing a couple of my art pieces and some spawn comics that I've been having that I forgot to even review so it's just old spawn comics but look out for those videos next week I will be making more I would uh, I will post them maybe Wednesday but uh, thank you guys for watching um, till next time Bye.